reliability test in both Excel and SPSS using the Cronbach Alpha equation for the analysis of two point up to eleven point Likert scale data extracted from questionnaire or a survey. Cronbach's alpha or alpha coefficient was developed by Lee Cronbach in 1951. The alpha or the test describe the consistency of items. It does examine whether questionnaire would reproduce the similar participant outcomes if it was repeated under the similar conditions. The alpha refers to how closely related a set of items or question or questions in a survey. It assesses the reliability of items and it does measure the internal consistency for items. The alpha also measures the internal relatedness of the items. The alpha coefficient have a reliability range from zero to one. If all items are not related, then alpha equal to zero. If all the items co-vary, then alpha is close to one. Cronbach's alpha increases as the intercorrelations among test items increase the Combax Alpha scores of a 0 .9, 0 0.9 or equal to 0.9 or greater indicates excellent reliability and an alpha value of less than 0.5 means low reliability. Combax Alpha formula is built on the Cooder's Richardson 20 formula. It can be used for the analysis and finding and testing the reliability of a scale data that is based on a scaled responses, such as Likert scaled items from two up to 11 point Likert scale. The formula also can be used for continuous variables such as ratios or intervals. It can also be used for determining the reliability for a data that is or are binary. So it is suitable to be used for binary variables such as multiple choice questions or a dichotomous variable that have two options, yes or no. The formula for the Cronbach's alpha as given here is equal to k divided by k minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus between bracket 1 minus the sum of the variance on the upper part for the items divided by the variance for the total score in the lower part. So for, from this formula, the K represent the total number of items and the variance I represent the variance associated with each item 
and the variance t is the variance linked to the observed total score in the next slide a reliability reference table shows the Cronbach's alpha value ranges from 0 to 1 and the reliability level for that value. Reliability test in Excel for 5 points or 2 points Likert scale questionnaire or survey. The test is based on the Cronbach alpha equation. Reliability test in Excel for five point Likert scale questionnaire or survey using the Cronbach alpha equation. The equation is given below as alpha equal to k divided by k minus 1. k stands for the total number of questions or items in a survey or a questionnaire. Then this is multiplied by a bracket 1 minus the upper part of the formula is the sum of the variance for all the items the sum of the variance of the items or questions and that value is divided by the variance for the total score so the reliability test is a way of measuring the internal consistency of an item it will test how reliable is the questionnaire or a survey if it has been repeated on a different date and different time with the same participant their score or their response will be similar in different time period that is the essence of doing reliability test for a questionnaire and a survey it is an essential step a preliminary step when a individual is designing a questionnaire or a survey to test how reliable is the uh, survey or the questionnaire or as a whole the whole um, um, survey the way to do that in excel i have here inserted a sample of a response taken from a questionnaire or a survey that has been uh, given to 20 participants uh, answering 20 different questions or uh, items from item number one to item number 20 and the score or the responses of each individual participant was scaled on the five point Likert scale from one to five one indicates that the uh, participant is strongly disagreeing and a value of five means that the participant is strongly agreeing and the value of three reflects a neutral response toward the uh, item or a question so here we have a data that is called ordinal so it's an order from one to two three four five and to determine the reliability of the test uh, to perform a reliability test for this uh, survey or questionnaire we're going to use the Cronbach alpha formula given here and uh, the way to do that is first in this column going to generate a new column or data call it total score so in this column we're going to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant i.e. combining the scores or the responses from each part for in each individual participant for all the questions 
and the way to do that is to click on that cell here then click on the sum here and then select the range from item number one to item number 20 and hit the enter key a value of 51 is generated to auto fill and auto calculate the total score for the rest of the participants select the cell here drag hold and drag and then release a value is generated for each individual participant the next step is to calculate the variance for each individual item or question and then the to variance for the total score and the way to do that is in this cell insert the equal sign and then type variance and select the variance s for sample so we are going to uh, select the uh, variance calculate the variance for a sample as here we have a sample if you double click on that and then select the range of the data for the 20 participant here for the item number one and hit the enter key a value was generated for the variance for the first item to auto fill and auto calculate the value of the variance for the rest of the questions select hold drag and i'm going to drag it toward the ends as we are also here going to calculate the variance for the total score in addition to the variance for each individual item or questions so now we had calculated the total score variance and then we have calculated the individual variance for each individual item the next step is to add the variance for the um, items so for these 20 items and the way to do that here is select this cell then click on this sum symbol and then select the range for the value to add all the variance together and if you hit the enter key a value is generated for the sum of the uh, variance for the items and since we have here uh, the variance for the total score i'm going to select right click copy and then i'm going to paste that here next to this symbol of uh, um, uh, variance for uh, total score and if i click on the link here the value is inserted in this cell and i'm going to uh, label this as let's call it uh, i uh, or t for total since it is a total so we're going to select this and hopefully we try to make it a subscript uh, subscript click on ok uh, so we have now the value for this total variance for the total score for the k k represent the total number of items or questions and since here we have 20 i'm going to insert number 20. so now we have all the values for calculating the Cronbach's alpha and the value for all the part of the equation or parts of the equation the way to calculate the and determine the value for the Cronbach's alpha in this cell insert the equal sign and then uh, open a bracket add 20 divided by 19 close the bracket insert a multiplication sign then open a bracket insert number one then minus sign then select the upper part of the upper part value of the formula which is this one this will be divided by the lower part which is the variance for the total score close the bracket and hit the enter key a value of 0 0.81 is generated this value here which i'm going to label red is the reliability value Cronbach's alpha value so what does this value mean 0 0.81 it uh, this value means that this uh, survey is 
81% reliable. If we uh, um, refer this value into this table and look at this table, which shows the compact alpha value and the level of reliability, as we can see here, when the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or greater than 0.9, then the um, uh, questionnaire or the survey is excellent in reliability. Uh, a survey is considered to be good in reliability if the value of alpha is from 0.8 to 0.89. And uh, a questionnaire is acceptable when the value is from 0.7 to 0.79. A uh, uh, questionnaire is uh, uh, questionable in reliability when the value for alpha is from 0.6 to 0.69. And the reliability is poor when the value ranges from 0.5 to 0.59. And the survey will be unacceptable the reliability will be unacceptable or the survey is unacceptable in reliability when the value for the alpha is less than 0.5 and since our value here is 0.81 which is in this range so the survey or the questionnaire they have a good reliability so this is the way to perform a reliability test in Excel and generate a value. The value of the um, uh, reliability is based on the Cronbach's alpha formula given here. And the value ranges from zero to one. Zero means that the survey or the questionnaire is unreliable. One means that the questionnaire or survey is extremely reliable and Reliability test in Excel using Compax Alpha equation for two point Likert scale questionnaire survey. Two point Likert scale is a scale based on the participant will have only two options to select from whether they are they agree or disagree with the statement or the question and the way to do reliability test in excel is to use the formula here which is given below for the compact alpha that is equal to k divided by k minus one k stands for the total number of items or questions this is multiplied by uh, the one a bracket one minus the upper part which is the sum of the variance for each individual item or question divided by the variance for the total scores achieved by or each individual participant to do the reliability test in excel for two point like it scale i had placed in this excel sheet uh, data taken from an answer or a response for only 20 participants in a survey or questionnaire trying to give their opinion and responses or an answer to 20 items or questions from q1 to q20 their responses was scored as either zero or one. One indicate that they agree with the question or the statement and zero indicates that they disagree with the statement or the question. So the data we have here is a dichotomous data, only two options, zero or one, or categorical data and to uh, determine the reliability of test the Cronbach alpha formula here can be used to determine the reliability of this survey or questionnaire and uh, to assess uh, the quality of this survey and whether this survey is reliable if it has been repeated on different time or dates with the same 
selected number of participants, their responses will be similar. That is the essence of uh, performing liability test, test for a questionnaire or a survey. It is an essential step when designing and preparing a questionnaire for, for either a research purpose or non-research purpose. The way to do the reliability tests in Excel is first of all, we're going to calculate the total score, which is the total responses that scored by each individual participant. And the way to do that in this column, I'm going to type total score, total score. And then in the cell below, I'm going to add all the um, responses of the each individual participant add the scores for the responses uh, for the first participant combine them together uh, to generate a value for the total score the way to do that is to select the sum function here select the range of the data from question number one to question number 20 hit the enter key a value is generated for the total score or total responses of the first participant. To auto fill and auto calculate the rest of the total score for the rest of the participants, select, hold, and then drag, and then release, and the software will auto calculate and auto fill the total score uh, achieved by each individual participant. The next step is to calculate the upper part of this far formula here, which is the sum of the variance for each individual item or question and the variance for the total score. And the way to do that is in this cell, um, insert the equal sign, then type variance and select the variance for sample here as we are using a sample, double click on that and then select the range for the data uh, for question number one and hit the enter key a value is generated which represents the variance for this item or question to auto fill and auto calculate the variance for the rest of the items and also the total score select hold drag toward this cell the software will automatically calculate and fill the value for the variance for each individual uh, item and the variance for the total score. Now, we have managed to uh, determine the value for the lower part of this uh, formula. The next step is to add the variance for the 20 items or questions. And the way to do that in this cell select the cell here click on sum and then select the value for the variance for the 20 items hit the enter key a value is generated here for the total score variance going to select this value right click copy and i'm going to place it here and then right click and i'm going to select the link so to keep the link a value is generated here which is similar to the variance for the total score. K here is the total number of the items or questions. And in this case, there are 20 questions. Now we have all the components of the formula uh, already being calculated, the value for this component. Next step is to determine the compact alpha value. And uh, the way to do that is to um, insert an equal sign here then open a bracket put add 20 here divided by 19 and then close the bracket then insert a multiplication sign open a bracket insert number one insert minus sign select the upper part of the formula value for the sum of the variance for the items this one divide and then, then insert a division sign, which is this one, and then select the lower part, which is the total score variance, and then close the bracket and hit the enter key, a value of 0.9 is generated.
if I want to increase the decimal uh, to to decimal point, I will get a value of 0.94. What does this value mean? It means that this survey or questionnaire is 94% reliable. Using this value and referring and referring to the table given here, any value for alpha that has a value of 0.9 or greater is considered to be an excellent reliability. This is the way to determine and calculate the reliability for a survey that is consist of a two point Likert scale using the Chrompax alpha formula given here in Excel. Reliability test in SPSS based on Chrompax alpha equation for a five point or two point Likert scale questionnaire or survey. Reliability tests in SPSS using Chrompax alpha equation for a five point Likert scale questionnaire or a survey. The test will measure the internal consistency of items and whether the questionnaire is reliable and if the uh, survey or questionnaire is repeated on different time and date with the same group of participants, uh, their responses will be similar. That's indicate reliability. And the way to evaluate and assess a questionnaire is to perform a reliability test using the formula that has been generated by Chrompax and it's called Chrompax Alpha Equation uh, that is equal to K divided by K minus 1 K stands for the total number of items or questions multiplied by uh, bracket 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual items divided by the variance for the total score achieved by the participant. Uh, the value that is generated from the Chrompax or Chrompax alpha ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means that the questionnaire is unreliable and a value of 1 for alpha means that the uh, survey or questionnaire is a hundred percent reliable. Here in this uh, SPSS I had inserted uh, data taken from a questionnaire that has been um, answered by 20 participants who gave their opinions uh, on 20 questions 20 items item number one to item number 20 and their responses was inserted as a score based on the five point Likert scale from one to five one indicates that the participant is strongly disagreeing with the statement or the question uh, the five value reflects a strong agreement with the statement. A value of three means that the participant is neutral. To evaluate and assist the quality of the questionnaire or survey reliability test based on Chrompax Alpha can be used and performed here in SPSS. The way to do that first is to calculate the total score achieved by the participant, i.e. to count all or add up or combine all the scores uh, achieved or reported by each individual participant for each individual item, i.e. Com 
compiling compiling the values uh, um, for all the items for each individual participant so to do that to do this first step first click on transform then click on compute variable and in the compute variable we are going to generate a variable or a column of data and we call it total score and to do the total score is first to add all the values here and to do that is to select on the function group click on all then scroll down to statistics and then from statistics use the function or the command for sum drag that into the numeric expression so we're going to combine and add the value for each individual participant so see here the command is sum between brackets and then we are going to add the first item here separated by the comma and then add the second item so we're going to repeat separated by comma and we're going to insert the third until the item number 20 every time inserting we insert the uh, item has to be followed by a comma insert comma and then item number seven so we have two three four five seven then eight nine comma ten for the rest of the items item number 14 15 comma 16 comma 17 and then comma 18 and then item number 19 comma item number 20 so we have placed all the items between the brackets separated by comma comma if we click on uh, okay a new data variable is generated on the far right hand side this represent the combination of all the scores for each row or for each participant and I'm going to do a few editing on that column or variable by clicking on variable view and I'm going to reduce the column width to six and make the scores center and reducing the decimals into zero once the total score is calculated for each participant the next step is to transpose this data move these items into this side and then the id for each participant into the uh, other part here upper part and the way to do that is to click on data transpose and then in transpose i'm going to um, select the variables from item number one select a we select this and also inc include the total score variable in it move it to the variable variables box and then in the uh, name variable going to move the id into that box and if i click on ok again a uh, data view is generated now the items are in uh, here in this case are inserted in rows and the student id is in columns or variables label and i'm going to do a few editing for this data transpose data the first one is to reduce the column width into six and then to align the data into the or the scores into the center for all the 
data and then I'm going to change also the labeling of the variables by clicking on the column here then control find and then replace and I'm going to replace the K underscore with an S for student replace all release all has been renamed by labeled as S1 to S20 student number 1 to student number 20 if I close that and go to the data view again these are labeled here as S1 to S20 and on the column here item number 1 to item number 20 in addition to the total score so now we had done the second step the third step is to try to determine the values for each component of this formula k is the total number of items or questions which is 20 for the variance for the items or each question we need to calculate that and then add the add the variance for all the item together items together and then divide that by the total score variance and if we go back again here to the um, data view in SPSS I'm going to calculate the variance for all the items with the total score and the way to do that is to click on transform compute variable and then I'm going to generate a target variable call it variance and uh, I'm going to use a function group by clicking on all and then scroll down to statistical and then select the variance command and drag it up to the numeric expression again we're going to do the same thing calculating the variance for all these uh, uh, variables from S1 to S20 and uh, the way is to insert this between each item between the brackets insert the S1 first separated by comma insert the S2 by comma S3 and S4 and S5 and then S6 and then 7 8 9 10 11 12 separated by comma every time you enter a variable you separate that by a comma and then 16 17 comma 18 comma 19 comma 20 so we had inserted all these variable between the bracket from s1 to s20 if i hit the ok bottom a uh, value is another target variable is generated on the far right hand side that calculate the variance for each individual item for item number one to item number 20 in addition to the variance for the total score so the variance for the total score is this value and the variance for each individual item is this value to uh, i'm going just to do a little bit of editing here by um, making this into the center and then reducing this into six into six and um, back again to the data view I'm also going to reduce the decimals for these scores here by clicking on converting this into zero zero decimal but keeping the variance with two decimal points so 
we have now most of uh, or all the values for the part of the equation. We have the variance for each individual items. We have the variance for the total score. We need to uh, find out the sum of the variance for all the 20 items to calculate the uh, sum of the variance for the items we need to add up all these values first of all i'm going to uh, re control x remove this value from here place it into the equation here in this equation as this is the total score variance and I'm going to replace it here by copy and paste and back again to the um, data view here and to calculate the sum of the variance for the items click on analyze click on descriptive statistics click on frequencies and then click on statistics and select the sum command here click on continue and we're going to calculate the sum for the variance uh, a column or target uh, uh, variable and i'm going to untick the display of frequency if i click on ok a table here generated sh showing the sum of the variance for all the items from item number one to item number 20 which is equal to 27.1 approximately so i'm going to and this is this represent the upper part of the formula so it is 27.1 so far we have calculated the variance for the total score and the sum of variance for all the items the next step is to calculate and determine the compacts alpha uh, following the equation uh, as given here in this formula uh, for k here k represent the total number of items which is 20 divided by um, 20 minus 1 equal 19 uh, at this stage we need to use a calculator here i have a, a calculator and i'm going to use the calculator to determine the Kronbach alpha Kronbach's alpha value need to calculate the value between these two brackets 1 minus 27.1 divided by 119.63 equal to this value and we're going to multiply that by 20 equal then divide that by 19 and a value of 0.81 is generated so the alpha value here is equal to 0.81 what does this value mean this value means that the questionnaire or the survey is 81 percent reliable the table here shows the Cronpax alpha value and the level of reliability. If the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or greater, then the reliability is excellent for a questionnaire. If a survey has a Cronpax alpha of a range between 0.8 and 0.89, then the reliability is good. Uh, reliability will be acceptable when the range for alpha is between 0.7 and 0.79 or 0.79 the questionnaire will be considered questionable when the alpha value is in the range of 0.6 to 0.69 and the survey would be ha would have a poor reliability when the alpha value is between 0.5 and 0.59 and the questionnaire or a survey will be unacceptable or unreliable when the Cronpax alpha value is less than 0.5 
So this is the way to evaluate and assess the reliability of a questionnaire or a survey based on the um, Cronbach's alpha equation. Evaluating the reliability of a two-point Likert scale questionnaire or a survey in SPSS using a Cronbach's alpha equation. The test will measure the internal consistency of items and test whether the uh, questionnaire or a survey if repeated on different dates or times with the same group of participants will produce or generate similar outcome or responses from the participant and the way to evaluate the reliability is to do a reliability test using the alpha equation which is equal to k divided by k minus 1 k stands for the total number of items or questions multiplied by 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual item or question divided by the variance for the total score. Here in this SPSS data view, I had placed uh, data extracted from the responses of 20 participants in a questionnaire answering 20 questions or items giving their opinion on a specific uh, question and their response was sc scored based on the two point Likert, Likert scale uh, uh, one stands for agree and zero stands for disagree so these data are dichotomous categorial as there was only two options either agree or disagree and to evaluate the questionnaire and to determine whether the survey or the questionnaire as a whole is reliable then we will do the reliability test based on the Cronbach's alpha equation the first step is to calculate the total score um, obtained from the participant giving their opinion on each specific questions or item i.e. combining the scores achieved or recorded by each individual participant to do that is first to click on transform then click on compute variable in the compute variable i'm going to generate a target variable call it total score call it total score total score and to add and combine the values for the scores achieved by each individual participant we're going to use the sum command and the way to do that is to click on the function group scroll down to um, statistical um, uh, words here click on statistical then select the sum command and drag it into the numeric expression in the numeric expression we're going to add the variable for the q number one to q number 20 in between the bracket separated by a comma so we're going to insert the first item or variable or question followed by comma for the second one and then for the third every time insert a variable 
need to separate it by a comma from the next item or variable question number 10 and then 11 and then 12 and then 13 and then 14 and then 15 16 towards the last one which is Q20 so we have inserted all the items or variables between the bracket and if we click on OK a target variable is generated here on the right hand side for the total scores recorded by each participant going to do a few editing on this target variable going to reduce the width of the column into four and I'm going to make the data centered and I'm going to uh, keep the decimal to zero so we have calculated the total score the next step is to transpose these data and the way to do that is uh, to click on data scroll down to transpose and in the transpose i'm going to move the id into the name variable and i'm going to select all the variables and drag them into the variables box and click on ok the data is transposed in a way that now we have the questions or the items in rows i'm going to do a few editing here since we have we're going interested in going to to be interested in just using two decimals so make all the rest of the um, values zero decimals and we're going to align the scores into the center select and then drag and i'm going to decrease the column width into four keep it at four for all the um, target variables and we're going to since we have here a dichotomous we are going to um, measure the data based on nominal copy and make it nominal and um, going to change the label here from k1 into s1 Uh, and the way to do that is to select the column here and then control F for find and click on the replace and then type K under score and then replace that with capital S for and if you click on replace all and then close and we can see here all the level has been changed to S1 to S20 from S1 to S20 so now we have calculated the total score transpose the data edit the data the next step is to calculate the variance for all the items or the questions and also to include the variance for the total score and uh, the way to do that is to click on transform compute variable and then I'm going to type here a variance for the new target variable to generate and I'm going to select from the function group uh, under statistical the variance dragging the variance into the numeric expression so we're going to calculate the variance for all the items and for the total score again we need to insert these variables in 
between the bracket followed by the comma for S1 and then insert the second comma and then comma in between the variables otherwise the commands will not be executed uh, comma and then S4 comma S5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 until all the variables are included in the brackets the last one here so now we have inserted all the variables from s1 to s20 in between the bracket and if we click on ok and you target variable is generated that is called variance and as we can see here we have the variance for each individual item or question and the variance for the total score I'm going to do a little bit of editing into the variance variable I'm going to align it into the center and I'm going to reduce that into four and I'm going to keep it as a scale for the variance and I'm going to do no more changes here so now we had calculated the variance for each individual items and the variance for the total score so following this formula now we had most of the um, values for components or part of this equation already determined we need to add up all the variance for all items in SPSS and the way to do that first is to click on the variance for the total score and I'm going to remove that and place that in this formula here so we have now the variance for the total score in the equation the next step is to add all these variance together from I item number one to item number 20 and the way to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to descriptive select frequencies select statistics click on sum click on continue then select the variance as we are going to calculate and add all the value within this variance and then click on ok a small table here is generated showing the sum for the variance which is 4.82 so we're going to use this formula and type here 4.82 so we have now the value for the sum of the items variance or the variance for all the items so we're nearly now ready to uh, calculate the alpha value the k value here is the total number of questions which is in this case is 20 divided by k minus 1 which is equal to 19 so we are ready now to work out the value and I'm going to use a calculator for this purpose so if I type calculator and then click on calculator here and I'm going to first of all find the value for the uh, uh, scores here between these two brackets so I'm going to divide the upper part by the lower part, part lower part and subtract that from one so 1 minus 4.82 
divided by 45.73 equal 0.89. I'm going to multiply that by 20 and then divide that by 19 which will give us a value of 0.94 so this value here means that this questionnaire or this survey is 94 percent reliable so it has high reliability value thus this questionnaire is excellent in reliability from this reference table shows the Cronbach's alpha value and the reliability level if the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or greater then the reliability is excellent if a questionnaire have a alpha value of a range between 0.8 and 0.89 then the reliability is good questionnaire will be will have an acceptable reliability when the range for alpha is between 0.7 and 0.79 and a uh, survey will be questionable in reliability if the value is between 0.6 and 0.69 for alpha and it will be a poor questionnaire if the value of alpha is between 0.5 and 0.59 and a questionnaire will be uh, uh, unreliable, unacceptable if the value for alpha is less than 0.5. So this is the way to calculate and determine the Cronbach alpha for a questionnaire that have a dichotomous data in it, binary data, two point Likert scale, two options for the participant to choose from either agreeing or disagreeing this is the way to do it in SPSS